God has given us as humans the ability and the mandate to manage the world. It is a material world, and we are part of that material world, though we are more than the material world because we transcend it. God has given us his spirit. Stewardship begins with virtue. We can't begin to manage something for someone else unless we can first manage ourselves. Several years ago, I was in church, and the children's pastor called the children up for a children's sermon. And she asked the boys and girls, she said, Boys and girls, what is the fruit of the Spirit? And they began to say, Love, joy, peace, patience. And pretty soon, one little boy said, Honesty. And this caught the children's pastor off guard. She said, um, Well, honesty is a good thing, but it's not a fruit of the Spirit. And I'm sitting back there in the pew thinking, yeah, it is. It's not on the list, but it's a fruit of the Spirit. Now, you say, well, what do you mean? How, how could it be a fruit of the Spirit? It's not on this list. Well, you have to understand how Paul uses lists. Paul uses virtue and vice lists. This was a common practice among Stoic and Cynic philosophers of his day. These lists were designed to aid memory. So you will see Paul has many lists of vices, and some vices are on multiple lists, and other lists, uh, other vices are only on a single list. The same thing could be said for virtues. I grew up with a virtue list. When I was a kid, we learned don't smoke, drink, dance, chew, or go with girls who do. And my children actually had a list when they were growing up. They learned from their friends. No fighting, no biting. No hitting, no spitting, and no bad words. Now, obviously, these lists don't encompass all there is about virtue, but they help encapsulate in memory uh, certain things that need to be learned and put into a person's life. So Paul uses these lists, and it's important to understand that. The last element on the list is where Paul says there is no law against such things. Such things. Things like things that are on the list. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Now, all of these virtues are important, but there are one or two that are essentially important if we are going to be good stewards. The first element I would like to highlight is generosity. It's essential to have generosity. Dave Ramsey tells the story of the open hand versus the tight fist. He uses this illustration, and he says, When we have a tight fist, God cannot allow money to enter into our hands. He can't put the money in there. We have to have an open hand. And when we have an open hand, it's a hand of generosity. And also, God can put resources into our hands, as well as uh, it allows us to give resources to others. This builds on a verse from Deuteronomy 15, verses 7 through 8. If there is among you anyone in need, a member of your community, in any of your towns within the land that the Lord your God has given you, do not be hard-hearted or tight-fisted toward your needy neighbor. You should rather open your hand willingly lending enough to meet the need, whatever it may be. 